Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here doing a full face of BoxyCharm products. I did do the complexion products as well because I got a few of these things from the charm shop. It's not something that BoxyCharm actually does at the moment, but it's something that I hope they'll get into later on as they start to increase the products that they carry in our boxes, especially with our beauty profiles because I'm seriously waiting for the moment when they can do that. I know it's gonna be really hard for them to do a full complexion line, but I would love to see more setting powders some finishing powders, things like that. But this is just everything that I have recently in my collection that I wanted to use for a complete face. And comment down below if you are doing your makeup, follow along with me, I'd love to know. All right, so before we get into things, I'll remind you guys to smash that subscribe button, become part of the Wolf Pack today, and let's get into it. All right, so to start off, um, I am doing a full face of BoxyCharm, but I'm kind of cheating a little bit. For a moisturizer, I'm using this from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow pink juice moisturizer hasn't been a boxy charm yet but we do know it's coming um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that to prep the skin and get started I love this moisturizer Devin and his mom are here they're doing some work so if you hear them moving things around in the background I'm sorry I just just know if you hear weird noises that's all it is it's not something bad happening <laughs> unless it's that <laughs> I'm going to be using this is from Wonder Beauty, the Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick. I'm going to be using that today because I actually got this in the charm shop. So technically, technically, I'm not cheating. It's still boxy charm, just didn't come in a subscription box. But I forgot I need to prime first. So I'm going to be using the No Pore Blend. This is the Priming Essence from Touch and Soul. I haven't had a chance to really use this yet. I got it in the box not too long ago. I love the packaging on this. Like the way that they did this almost looks like a, a syringe, the tip of it here. But I'm going to put that all over my skin before we get started. And it's very liquidy, very hydrating. I haven't done, ooh, I put too much. Um, I haven't done too many makeup videos on my channel, which is really odd. I'm getting into it more now that I'm getting monthly subscription boxes and I'm trying to do try-ons for you. But I realized that I just want to sit down and play with makeup. Just talk about what's going on because these are my favorite type of videos. Sorry, phone's ringing. Um, these are my favorite type of videos because you can just hang out, relax, chit chat. If you've got your makeup at home and you're trying to get ready, um, let's get ready together. If you've got your coffee, just starting your day, these videos are perfect. So we've got that done. Now I also want to try something different. Because I'm going to be using the hydrating foundation stick, a lot of time, um, foundation sticks can be kind of dry. This one's not supposed to be. This one's supposed to be hydrating, hence the name. But I also want to, to kind of help spread it a little bit evenly or better. I'm wanting to mix it in with this from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. Um, this may be a mess, maybe a disaster, but I want to try it. So, okay, I've got my brush, I've got my sponge, just depending on how this goes. And I think with something like this, maybe less is more. Like just to start, I, that may be enough. I'm, I'm new to using foundation sticks, so I'm not 100% sure. But I want to add in a little bit of that glow. So I've got, got this. I hope this doesn't make a mess. I'm going to take literally the smallest amount that I can. Because I don't want to overdo it because it is a glow oil. This stuff smells so good. I think something like this would be really good during the winter time to, if you've got dry skin to help hydrate. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I'm using my Luxie 732 Pro Foundation Brush. Favorite brush from them. And that's actually blending out really well. I'm wondering if I'm not getting much coverage because I did share it out with the glow oil, but I don't mind it. I gotta get this hair out of my face. It's driving me crazy. That did okay, but I think I want to add a little bit more coverage, so I'm going to do another layer of the foundation stick. Now, I do want to note that the foundation is like turning liquidy a little bit on top. It's just, it's melting, so I guess it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It feels really nice. Put it down the neck, because I'm very fair skinned, and this is a little bit too dark for me. I actually really like the way this looks. Um, I don't like to go super, super heavy on my foundation because I don't, especially during the summertime, it seems like the more makeup you build up, it's just going to get cakier. It just, it doesn't do well for me. But I am going to move on to concealer. 
and this is from Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer in the shade Birch. Uh, this is a waterproof concealer, so um, it's going to have a different texture than, say, your shape tape, things like that. It's going to be a lot heavier feeling, but I think that that's kind of what I need at the moment. And it's really sticky, like it kind of grabs at the skin a little bit. I think that's a good shade for me. I think this one has a little bit of peach undertone, so it help, helps cancel out some of the um, some of the purple under your eyes. And I'm definitely going to use a sponge for this. I do better with my under eye with sponges. As far as the boxy pop up, I didn't hear until I edited my video last night um, that the release date is going to be on the 23rd, I think. So it's going to be on a Tuesday, which thankfully I'm off on Tuesdays. So whenever it goes live, I'll be able to get that out to you guys as soon as possible so that we can start doing our shopping. We still don't know a time yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I feel like I lost some of that coverage right here from that foundation. So I'm going to put a little bit of that concealer there. I'm going to take it down onto my cheeks a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to let my foundation and my concealer um, give them a chance to set by themselves before I go in with any kind of setting powder to also prevent it from looking super heavy and cakey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to my brows. And I'm gonna be using the brow powder, sorry, brow power from It Cosmetics. We got this a while back. Um, it is a really, really good eyebrow pencil. It's kind of bigger than what I like. I like more of the Precisely My Brow where it's super, super fine point and you can map out exactly where you want your color to go. This one, you can still do it, it's fine. This is a universal shade, so it's supposed to be able to be used by everyone. And I have, I, I've used it whenever I had brown hair, when I had blonde hair, when I have blonde hair now. I've not had any issues with either one, so I think it is universal. It does work, and forewarning you guys, I do not know the best way to do brows. Like, I'm not super, super precise. I just wanna make sure that I have a tail, basically. Cause my hair just grows right here in this weird middle part and then hardly anything there and hardly anything in the front. So I'm just going to fill in what I can and to save time I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to be using the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. This is the Pro the this is the Pro HG palette which is for Holy Grail and we got this in a boxy lux not too long ago. But I love the colors that are in this. You can create a ton of different looks with it. But I've used this several times. It's sort of a go-to. It's one of those that if you're in a hurry and you're just trying to get things done, you don't have to put too much thought into it because all the shadows perform really, really well and they're very cohesive. So this is a good staple in your collection. And that did crease a little bit here where I was doing the rest of my face. I'm just gonna pat that out a little bit and get that back smooth. Before this gets a chance to crease again, I'm gonna take Thanks A Latte and put that all into the crease just to go ahead and set that concealer. And then moving forward, I'm gonna go into Bestie to start building up the, the crease. That's a good transition shade. But we're gonna go ahead and use a super fluffy brush and I'm gonna put that from the crease up towards the brow bone. Not all the way up, but as close as I can get. So speaking of eyeshadow palettes, you saw how um, there, are, there are a couple of videos going around right now. People saying that it's possible that Dominique Cosmetics is going to be in the Luxe box in September. But I don't... I've had a lot of people reaching out to me on this asking if I think it's going to be in there. Honestly, I don't, but I could be totally wrong. It's because I've seen BoxyCharm promote that eyeshadow palette whenever they were doing giveaways. When you can win the um, super, the super boxy lux is what I, or super boxy charm that's worth like seven hundred dollars. I think that might be part of it. But also, they were using it in their um, their Pinterest contest. That was kind of what was being featured in it. And I think that that's why people have been seeing it. It's because they've been promoting that platform. So I don't really think it's going to be in there. Could be wrong, like I said, but I don't think it is. Um, I've got a couple of different things that I want to try out. Like I've got the the Ciate London, the eye, the eye luster. I want to incorporate that into the look today. I think we're going to do a halo. Halo is one of my favorite eye looks to do. So I'm going to go back into Bestie on a fluffy brush and I'm going to work that into the inner and outer corner 
of the eye. But with halo eyes, they're one of my favorite looks to do. They're super, super easy. They don't take a whole lot of effort. You can get super precise and use your concealer to do a cut crease with it. But even then, you could just take it on your finger and just dab it into the center and then you basically cut your crease and put your color on top of it. It's just super easy to use. I really like doing halos. And to deepen the inner and outer portion, I'm gonna go in with brownie points. Where, and I've got a little detailed brush from Luxie, but this one is really, really good just for doing super detailed work. And this is the, the uh, 111 Mini Flat Angled. And make sure you spank your brushes whenever you work with the deeper colors, especially in case there's any fallout. Now with my particular eye shape, because I have hooded eyes, I don't, you can close off the, the halo, the spotlight, you can close it off by go ahead and deepening up the crease a little bit more. I tend to not do that just because with hooded eyes, it makes your eye look closed off. So I leave it open all the way up and I just focus on the inner and outer corner and that's it. So what is everyone doing today? What is, has everybody got planned? I don't really have anything planned today besides playing with makeup. I've got a couple of videos that I need to film. I'm going to try to get them done. And I know Devin's trying to get some stuff done. So I think I've got, I'm not going to go super, super intense on where the, the deepening the inner and outer because this is going to be more of a, a easier daytime look. So it's going to be a little bit softer. And I'm just going to go back in with the fluffy brush and just use that to kind of blend into the center of the lid and up into the brow bone or up into the crease. Sorry. Okay, so now for the center of the lid, I'm not going to cut the crease, I'm not going to do any concealer. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Very simple, very easy. And I'm going to go bleh, And I'm going to go in with So Jelly, which is this real pretty pinky shade. I think it's one of the lighter colors in the palette. That's really pretty. I'm just going to put that all over the center of the lid because I think that would pair well with the eye luster. I'm just going to take that on my finger and place it just dead center on the eye and carry it up into the crease and if you want to go a little bit above the crease that's fine because if you have if you have hooded eyes it helps that way you can still see some of the color whenever you're looking straight ahead instead of only seeing color when you close your eyes or when you blink that's really pretty oh yeah I chose the right color this one's gonna do really really good with the eye luster now okay I do this a little bit differently than most people um, most people would put a bunch of powder under their eyes and everything to um, get ready for messing with shadow, but I do it differently because I like to run shadow underneath my eyes. I kind of do it when it's still wet and it hasn't been set. That way the powder kind of, the eyeshadow sets it for me and it makes that stay in place a lot easier. I don't know if anyone else does this. This is just what I like to do. So I'm gonna go back, take the same brush that had the darker shade on it. I'm gonna go back into Bestie. I don't even, I just realized you guys couldn't see me doing that. But I'm just going to coat that back on the little detailed brush and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. Again, not going to hit the center because we're going to put that pink down there as well. So I leave just a little space open. So I'm going to take that same brush again, dip into brownie points. We're going to spank it one good time because we're on the lower lash line now. And going to put that on the inner and outer most corner and kind of connect it to your upper. I could probably take that same brush, but I want to take a different one just in case. And this one is, I don't know, it's just a Morphe brush. It's a super, super tiny detail brush. I'm just going to use that to dip back into So Jelly. And I'm going to place that in the very center on the lower lash line. And you know what? I've had this foundation on for a while. It is just not setting at all. I'm going to take the Cover Effects palette and I'm going to be using the brightening powder. I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. And this, I'm gonna put underneath my eyes to set that concealer. I like using that powder for setting powder because it tends to lay a lot nicer. It's not as heavy and it doesn't cake up as much, especially during the summer. Like that set it down right away. That did really good. I need to find, I'm gonna hit pan on that powder very soon. Like it's very rare that I hit pan on a palette, but that one's gonna get it. I love that palette. They did so good with it. And we'll set the forehead. Wow, I really did not want to set at all. Which, I mean, I guess it's fine. If you've got dry skin, I think that would be a perfect stick foundation for you. Because I tried the hourglass one, and it didn't... I didn't enjoy that one as much. It was like it was too dry. I didn't want to move around. Or maybe I was using too much, maybe. I just... I did not have any luck with that. I haven't had to return anything to a store before, and that was the first product. So... 
I feel guilty returning something, um, especially makeup, because if you used it, they can't resell it. It's not like um, I bought something it didn't fit, you know, so they could just resell it. It's, it's not like that. To me, it just seems weird to try to return it. But, I mean, they have a return policy for a reason, so I, ne I need to get over that. Like, I have a product right now from pa Patrick Ta, that highlighting powder. It's got to go back. It, no. That is the biggest waste of money. I do not recommend any guy, anyone buying that. So, I said I wasn't going to set my whole face, but I guess I am. But I like using the, um, the finishing powder to set my face because it does a really good job. It doesn't, it mattifies it, but not to the point where it looks super, super dry. Because it does have that little bit of a sparkle factor in it. It just makes it... I don't know, it just makes it look nice. Feel a lot better now that I'm not so shiny and I'm when I'm looking at it. So we've got that done. I'm gonna continue with the eyes. We're going to be using the Ciate London Eye Luster Eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put that over top, that center pink color. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. We just got this not that long ago in Boxy Charm as well. Um, it does come out a whole lot on the brush. So I'm just going to pat it on my hand there and because I'm not trying to get super, super intense with it, I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and just tap it out lightly and keep it mostly dead center if you can. Like the difference between the two is really, really pretty. A little of that stuff goes a long way so don't get too, um, not trigger happy. What's the word I'm looking for? Don't get overzealous with it to bronze I'm be using the TARDIS Pro Glow. This is version 3 and it has highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. This one's a little bit too warm for me. The one here, I like to use this one. It looks like it has shimmer in it but whenever, whenever you put it on your face it doesn't. And I'm just taking a Echo Tools full brush to do my bronzer. And I don't like to really set a whole lot in this area because I want the bronzer to pick up a little bit more. And I don't swirl it. I more stamp it. It gives, I don't know, it actually blends a lot better when I do it like this versus if I swirl it around, I risk disrupting the foundation underneath and I'll end up pulling it up. I did that for a long time and I couldn't figure out why my foundation was messing up every time I would go to do bronzer. You know, it's because of the way I was applying it. So I just pat it around, blend it into the skin, and we're going to hit the neck and the chin. I like to run my bronzer down here because my foundation, especially if it's too dark for me, it kind of helps blend it in down to my chest. And I'm going to be using the blush in here as well. It's a little bit of a powdery formula, but I don't mind it. And again, I tap that out as well. And I'm not going to be using the highlight from that. I'm actually going to be using the highlighter from Artist Couture. This is the uh, Purple Dream really like this powder. He did so good on this, but I made a mistake. I forgot to close it, and so, yeah, it made a mess in the container. And I'm going to be taking a brush from, I got this in Ipsy. It's from SLMS Glam, I think, but the name has actually already wore off. That happened fast. I haven't had that brush that long. But yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit of that up on the powder, and because it picks up so much, just kind of tap it into the lid to get off the excess. Yeah. That's really pretty. He did so good on these powders. And we are actually almost done. I've got to finish the eyes and I've got to put on the lip color. Lip color is going to be fun to try to match with this. But as far as the eyes, I'm going to be using the eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar. This is the, actually I don't know what it's called, the ink. I'm going to be using that to line my upper lash line just ever so slightly, just to get a little, a little bit of definition. And I, again, I have a little brush from Morphe. This doesn't have a name. I got it one of those collections where you save money by buying like the, they were discounted. It was like a bundle deal. None of them have any names. They're not the best quality, but they're good enough for what I need. And for a mascara, I'll be using the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. I was having issues with the last mascara that I had. It kept flaking down below, and um, turns out it was old. I actually had never used this mascara. I had several of you reaching out to me telling me that that's something that you would recommend because it was your absolute favorite go-to. And because it had just been sitting in its box, 
Like, it's just been hanging out. I hadn't messed with it. I used it last night for the first time and I loved it. So I'm very happy with the way this mascara has performed. And I can't believe I haven't messed with it. I could have been having beautiful lashes all this time. Which I'm very happy to say that I'm actually going to be getting this in my Ipsy bag this month too. Which means I will have a backup of this. Very happy. I really appreciate when you guys reach out to me and tell me things because I read all of the comments. I try to respond to as many as I can but I don't always get a chance to reply because I'm trying to read responses on my break while I'm at work. And I only have 15 minutes to try to do bathroom breaks and go get something to drink. Things like that. So I don't always get a chance to respond. I don't like it whenever channels they post out these videos and then I'll go back and look at the comments and they don't do anything. They don't thumbs up, they don't love any comments, they don't respond to their people. I'm not like that. I, I just, I think it's kind of disrespectful to not at least try to talk to people, you know? Uh, this is a social media platform. You should be open to discussion. I, this is my platform. I like to have debates. Even if we don't agree with each other, I can respect everyone's opinion. And I'll acknowledge it. Um, I messed up a little bit on the lower lash line, which I always do. I'm horrible at doing the lower lashes. So I'm going to give that a chance to dry, and then I'll correct that here in just a minute. Now, I have a couple of options for lips. I didn't know exactly what kind of look I was going to do whenever I sat down. I've got this one. This is from Dose of Colors in the shade Rosebud, and I mentioned it last night that it kind of looks flat on me. I don't understand. It looks so pretty whenever you swatch it. It's a real pretty mauve. Like that smells really good. It looks so pretty but I, I don't know. I'm going to try it on so you guys can see it and maybe you can see what I'm seeing. Like is it horrible? No. Not one bit. It's not horrible at all. I just I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. Maybe because it's flat. Maybe that's what's getting me. Okay, now I'm starting to feel like myself. So, mm, I'm gonna leave it on and see how it does. I'm just gonna layer this over top of it. This is from Pretty Vulgar. It's another liquid lipstick, or you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. That might actually make it turn a little bit weird also. I'm gonna go gloss then. This is from Tarte. This is the Tartiest Shimmering Lip Paint. I got this in a Luxe box. And it is just, I think it's in the shade called Insta Famous. And it is just a super, super glittery formula. It might look really nice over this. So let's try that. And if it just doesn't look good at all, I'm going to take it off and start over something else. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think of this color. I think the gloss did help it a lot. But something still doesn't feel right. I think, I think I'm going to take it off. I just, I don't like it. Ah, try not mess up my foundation. All right, now I'm just gonna go in with Pretty Vulgar. Um, this is their liquid lipstick in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. No, it's My Lips Are Sealed. That's the name of the the liquid lipstick. The shade is called um, Particularly Sophisticated Number 108. I can't remember when we got this. I love this liquid lipstick. If you don't like metallics, then you might not like it, but I do. Yeah, I think that looks so much better with that look. Okay, and last step we're going to do, I'm using the Cover Effects. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray to finish the look. And you got to make sure you shake it really, really good. There we go. Okay, and there is the full face of Only Box of Charm items. Um, I actually really like the way it turned out. This is a very easy to wear look. You can do a daytime, nighttime, anytime. Again, this palette, I love it so much. And I should have used this a little bit more. This was my go-to, especially for the bronzer and the blush in here, before I got the Tarte palette. This one is solid. This is one of my favorite products. And yeah, the concealer turned out to be actually pretty good. I can still see some darkness under here, so it's not as full coverage as I would like. But normally I do color correction. I didn't do any of that because I haven't gotten a good color corrector from BoxyCharm in a while. So that was in the video. 
<laughs> um, what do you guys think? Is this something that you would wear? Comment down below if you recreate this look, especially if you do and you put it on Instagram, please tag me in your looks. I would love to see them. And, uh, you know, since this is a makeup video, it wouldn't be complete without a beauty montage. So, cue it. Now